Greetings viewers. Thanks for joining me out in the garage today. Leaning on the bed of the T100. Now when I got this, I said specifically I wanted a first year unit because all of the 93s that were four wheel drive were standard cab, manual transmission, and a long bed. I wanted the 3.0. I got it. I love it. Just added that toolbox too, which was free. Love that. Uh, but I want to cut a whole bunch out of the back of this. Like I want to cut it clear up to the wheel well here. And I'm going to cut it right here at the very back of this part, saving as much as only as much as I have to from here to here. And then I'm going to move all that up here. I'm going to cut the frame off. I'm going to lose this rotted out cross member or the hole here. The cross member is actually fine, but I'm going to lose that uh, when I cut the bed. So I'm going to get things set up, throw out some measurements, make a drastic bed bob on this. And I'm not worried about this body line here because I'm going to cut the fenders up at an angle like I did on the T or on the uh, Tundra. <laughs> and I'm going to do that on the T100 here as well. So first piece of body work that's going to happen is going to be a bed bob. And I'm going to have to make some bumpers because it's going to look silly if the big bumper in the front. But anyway, uh, it all snowballs, doesn't it? So let me get set up. I'll take some measurements. I'll show you what my plan is. I'll get this all out and we'll just start cutting this thing up. All right, now I probably loaned out my frame and square to somebody and I can't find it. So I'm throwing a level on my bedside. You can see it's not level. Sorry, I'm still on the tripod trying to show you there. All right, but see how your bubble is all the way to this line and off of that line, okay? So when I put it inside the wheel well here from where I want to cut, right at the back of the wheel well, I'll just put that bubble right there against the side like it was before, and that makes my level level. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so that makes my level level. I'll draw my line here. I'll use the same slightly off bubble. Hope that makes sense. Just don't loan out your framing square to people and that'd be the easiest way to do things, I think. And the long run. So let me get some marks out here using that method and I'll show you where I'm going from there. All right, I made my mark up there. I was able to find my speed square so I could extend it across the top of the frame rail. I laid it on the frame rail here to get my square. And now if I throw my level upon that and hold it just right, it should be, yeah, the bubble reading right over at the side. So I'm gonna grab Another level, I'm gonna come down. Like I said, it's gonna be a drastic cut at the back, at the bottom, but I'm okay with that. Let me finish out this marking here. I think this is gonna be really good when I get it ready. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark my front area the same way here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my two marks made where I wanna go. To make sure I duplicate them on the other side, I'm going to measure from this stake pocket. And it's 14 and a quarter, 34 and three quarters. So I'm going to go put that on the other side. Now just to double check this so that I know I got my lines in the same place on both sides, I'm measuring from my taillight bucket and my lines down here low are at 10 and a half and 31. I don't really matter down here because most of that's gonna be cut off, but this is gonna come clear up here, which is a little higher than I wanted it, uh, but I think it's gonna be fine. I am gonna have to rebuild that cross member if I haven't said that already. Uh, next thing to do is to get a saw zone and just start cutting this thing up. Now I say the next thing is to just break out the sawzall and start cutting, uh, but I need to get this tailgate off of here. Oh, it'll come off up there, don't man. Right. I'm gonna put it over here. I don't want to mow anymore. 
Uh, I'm gonna pull in my tail lights and get the wires out of the way. I'm gonna cut the bed off first, probably the back half that I'm going to move forward because I'm gonna cut this off. Now, if you have a mini truck, they have a more defined body line down here and you kind of got to cut at an angle to save your body line because when you come back, you cut it off or it's this way, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, you got to cut this way and this way and then slide your pieces together. This is going to be easier for me because I'm just going to be doing two straight cuts. Uh, I'm going to pull my tail lights, unplug them, get the wires out of the way. Then we'll come back and start hacking. Okay, now this is going to start out as a job for Mr. Sawzall. I'm going to try my best to follow that line nice and straight. And this doesn't have to be beautiful when it's done, it just has to suit me. Now I'm going to cut to the side, the inside of my lines here. Just uh, to make sure I kind of get everything right. Maybe you should be on this side so the light isn't such an issue yeah there we go that looks a little better now like i can say i want to do this in first so don't be afraid to just grab a saw and start cutting on your truck like i said i'm giving this a little extra here now i'm going to do my best to stay the same distance off that line all the way down and that way I'll have a little bit of extra body there uh, to mess with where I can grind or trim as needed. But I'm already down to the inside. Now I'm getting to that wider part down here that I need so I can join it on the other end. You can kind of see what's happening on the inside there. All right, I'm not down to the bed floor yet. All right, down to the bed floor. That's where the grinder will come in. I'll move over here to this side. Try to stay in the same amount. down to my bed floor so I'll just put my saws all in here a little bit of a different angle so I'm below the floor clearly hitting something on the back side there oh I wasn't even all the way to the floor yet down there now I can go a little bit of a different angle and that bottom part like I said doesn't matter I'm gonna go do that on the other side and then I'll show you how I'm gonna cut the bed part out okay so here once again where my mark is and I'm gonna draw it out here and I'm going to saw this off. Again, use the bigger tools if you have them. I have them. I don't know where they are. I have a suspicion where they might be. But you should keep better track of your tools than I do, apparently. All right, now I'm going to lay my uh, four-footer down here. Side it down to the other side like you do. Yeah, and then do your high spots. Come on, paint marker. There we go. 
Now these match up with my cut mark. So I want to cut right on this line is what I'm getting at. Working on a $700 truck, so if it's not exactly perfect and beautiful, I'll still love it because it'll be mine. So anyway, I just laid that out all the way across. I'm going to see if I can get it with the Sawzall. If not, I'm going to get it with the uh, Wheel of Death, but let me see what I can get here. There are two bolts underneath the very back of the bed that I'm going to need to get off. They're rusted to pieces and I'm going to cut them. I'm leaving them for right now just because uh, of hold this stable while I cut. Now I'm going to try and cut through with the Sawzall. You see how holding it at an angle like that will get you across. I'm going to run on over to the other side here. Okay, that went all the way across and was really easy. Now, there are, the bolts are at the back. You see, these are rusted. You figure out your way of cutting them. I'm just going to cut the corners off the frame right there since I'm cutting the rest of the frame off anyway. These are the ones that I'm talking about under here. You can see how mine are super crusty, rusty. I'm just going to cut this little corner of the frame off on both sides and be done with it. Okay. Now I got this all cut. I cut it off the bottom where it was bolted on so it's ready to be taken out. This will be the part that you're going to put back on. So I need to get those bolts out of the bottom. When it's all said and done, I'm going to cut it like I did on the T1, or on the, <laughs> on the Tundra, I keep calling it the, about right here at the bottom of that line. So I'm going to lose a bunch of it. Don't cut your hands up. Take this and set it aside now, because you won't need it for a little bit. And if you're saving your bottom, of course, be extra careful that you don't booger that all up. Now that's bolted through those as well. I'm also going to have to cut those bolts off. I'm also going to leave that cross member on until I'm ready to uh, take it completely out. So I'm going to make this cut up here next and come down. It should be right at the back of that wheel well. I'll go across, then all the bed will be gone. I'll cut the frame, take the bumper and all that crap off. We'll tack this other piece on and we'll have basically kind of sort of bobbed a bed. So let me grab uh, my saw. You saw how I did it on the saw, how I did it on the back. Now I'm just going to do it on this cut here. And I'll be back with you in a few minutes. As you start cutting down this side, you're going to find it's a little easier maybe to cut it in some pieces because uh, it's harder to get the Sawzall blade on the inside. You do it how it works best for you. I'm going to try to get this piece off of here before I go and cut across. I'll cut the other side down. I've already cut the frame back right behind the shackles. Now I measured, and I'll show you what it is you need to measure here in a second. Alright, now just so you know you ain't missing anything, I got some trimming to do down here. I got that cut right at the back of the wheel well here in the bed. I know I'm going a little further than some people will. I know I got six marks on here, three really, uh, but I know which one to follow. I'm going to cut this across, and then I got to take the two bolts out on the bottom down there. Or I might drill out these welds and leave that cross member. I don't know yet, but I'm getting ready to cut across. I just didn't want you to think you was missing something. I did cut down those lines, take the bed off. It's going to be pretty drastic at the back, but I'm okay with that. Let me get this cut off and I'll be right back with you. Now this is a good thing to do when you don't have any money. Because it don't cost a whole lot of money as long as you got sawzall blades and welding wire you can cut your bed off while you're waiting on stuff i got some add leaf springs i gotta get money for the u-bolts first 
Uh, after cutting all this bed off, maybe it won't need it. So I'm going to get this cut off, and we'll cut those off under there, and uh, we'll continue on. Remember, if you leave a little extra, you got room for grinding, but I'm trying to cut that out right on the line. All right, now I've got this cut across. My new piece will meet here and come out right to the edge of this cross member. So I'm going to drill out all these spot welds. I don't have a spot weld driller, so I'm just going to drill them completely out. With a faster drill than this, like this one, hopefully. Sharper bit than that. All right, let's try this one. Doesn't matter what you use as long as it'll cut. All right, now that's plenty to get past the whole thing. I'm gonna go down here, there's two in every low spot. I'm gonna get those all drilled out so I can save this cross member here. I'll be back with you in about an hour. All right, now I drilled out the entire top row. I should be wearing some gloves, hang on. Heaven knows I cut myself enough. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, I only drilled out one row, one row of those because I'm kind of relying on uh, the rust to see if I can maybe get this to give up. And, ah, uh, you know, in some places I haven't even got it enough yet. That's not going to work. I was hoping I could rely on enough rust to pop that off. I'll be right back. All right, so any of you who are afraid of tearing or afraid of rust, try tearing apart a rusty vehicle sometime. And let me tell you, that some bitch won't let go. That's just rot, rot, rot. And I still had to drill out the cross or the rivets in it. That's, yeah, enough about that. Don't be a me and don't cut through your wires. I'm going to have to make some wire repairs there. I'm going to cut these ears off here because they got crap on them real quick. And then I'll show you why I left the amount I did. And I'm going to cut those little pieces off underneath real quick. I'll only be making six of these repairs because I cut through my wiring harness after I told myself not to cut through my wiring harness. So, tell yourself, don't cut through your harness. But I'll be back to putting the other part on here in just a minute. All right, now please don't be stupid like me and have to make uh, wire repairs. I didn't cut them all, but I cut half of them. Uh, so at least I'm trying. I'll get those back up out of the way when I'm all done welding. <laughs> I'll leave them out of the way for now. Now I left this much, and I'll show you why as I put my other piece on here. And it ought to set right on ah, the mount. Now I still have to cut that bolt off of the bottom. When I get this put together, which it'll fit right here, this part, what can you see? All right, so you kind of see how it's going to go. I still got to cut that bolt off, okay, that I left on the bottom. I forgot that, and I got excited, so I'll go cut that off. But once I cut this up where I want it to be and put a bumper on here and have my tailgate and everything on, my shackles will be the only thing exposed on the back. Let me cut those bolts off real quick so I can show you what, look on, what uh, it's going to look like. All 
Okay, now I got both of uh, those bolts cut out. Here's what's going to happen. When I put the bed back on, this cross member is going to be underneath the bed and hold the bed up. I can go under from underneath and spot weld a few places and tack the bed to the cross member just like it was here before. The excess pieces of the end are going to sit on the frame right here. And if everything works out, I'm going to have to trim the ends right here on the bed because the frame is going to lay on this part right here. So let me cut those out real quick and I'll be right back. side. All right, now I got those cut out. I think that should be the last thing. There's a provision for a license plate and license plate lights on this because these trucks didn't come with a bumper <coughs> unless you ordered it. All right, so one more time. Let's see if I can get this in place this time and show you ultimate plan. Whew. Let me uh, wipe my hand off here. I may have to cut one edge of that cross member off. Now you can see we're missing, but we're also not all the way over yet either. Uh, once I cut some of this inner fender, so that it can even up. We are a little narrower, but I think I can make that work by pulling things in. Uh, looks like I'm catching on the cross member underneath. Yeah, it's hitting this one on the back here. So I'm gonna have to take this off and cut one side of that cross member off. I think that should be enough. Don't forget to always exercise caution when using the wheel of death. It's called the wheel of death for a reason. Yeah, I see the tore up bushings. I know I'm going to need some new ones. Let's see if this will fit now. I'm hoping. Well, not that way. Okay. Is that enough to get me where I want to be? Oh, if I cut that off, it will be. Oh, yeah. All right. So now I need to cut this inner piece out so I can bring this in. I'm just going to cut a wedge out of the back of it so I can bend it over and hopefully I get the right wedge and it still has strength. Not sure exactly where to take it from. Always wear a face shield when you're working with the wheel. The wheel. You know what wheel. All right, I'm going to see if I can just massage that in. Oh, yeah. Down for the time being. All right, that might do it. Oh, my internet is 
meeting up fairly decently. Where are we over here now? Oh, man, am I liking this. Okay, like I said, I got room for grinding. I got room to level and even it up. I can move this forward a little. I may have to cut some more out of my cross brace. Uh, as soon as I get that figured out on both sides and get that inner fender trimmed up, this will be ready for welding. Hang on, let me see what time it is. Okay, at this point, I am three hours in, uh, three and a half-ish hours in, and I've been working on it pretty solid without stopping, and I've got this lined up where I could put a tack weld right here. I just need to do the other side. I've got a big enough hunk of bed there if I need to lay over to fill some gaps. I ain't real concerned what the inside of the bed looks like. I'd like the outside to look pretty okay. Uh, this is all going to get trimmed off, like I said, right here for bumper. So that's going to lose a lot of this. I got to do some pondering on that. So you stay there. I'll be back in a little bit, maybe tomorrow. You won't know. And try to put some more of this together for you so you can see what I got going. But so far, uh, this is an afternoon project. All right, now I have chosen to garner some uh, PPE here as the Wheel of Death has that name for a reason. Now I still have a little trimming to do, but use your blade till it's gone. If it's got a nick in it, beef up your protection. Right, I'm just saying that. Now I've done some trimming. I've done, I got some trimming. I will come back and show you how I made this fit. Give me a minute. All right, viewers. Now, I hope you're starting to see my vision come to life. Uh, while I was charging my battery, Wheel of Death and I went round and round, and we've done a lot of trimming. I'm going to show you some things here in a minute. I'm doing the best I can to put it all together, but I want to show you how it's all going to flow. Uh, this is the part that takes the, the trimming and adjusting, and I've notched that inner wheel well, and I need to start bringing it back from up here. This is going to get cut off flush, and then I can bring this out some. The thicknesses of the bed are different here, so each side has to be brought out, and the tailgate still has to close. These are the kinds of things that... Um, I could show you me grinding and cutting and cussing and grinding over and over again and yeah, it's the same thing you've already seen. Uh, but do fear the wheel of death, do PPE up personal uh, protective equipment, I think. Let me show you some stuff. Alright, now like I say. This is all going to get cut off at the bottom of the bed level, all the way around to here, just like on the tundra, just below the bottom of this, so I've got a piece to come out here, okay? <clears throat> Let me get a flashlight. All right, you can see what I was shooting for here where I wanted that ledge. Again, these are different thicknesses here. Some of this ain't going to be exactly perfect and pretty. I have body seam sealer. You can see how I crunch that together. I can put, I can wrap that. Hell, I don't care what the inside looks like. <clears throat> Out here, I cut a little extra. I cut a little over when I lean on it and push it together. Um, if I have to get it real close with the piece behind it here and have my sticker friend make me up a real bitchin' sticker to cover that, like some Super B sticker or some SS or, uh, I don't know, T100, whatever I name this truck. I want to name it Bob, but dang, that's too common. Anyway, inside, I'll get it to go the rest of the way across here. Uh, if I push it together, like I said, if I 
clearance it here and then it's a little wide there yeah I got a whole bunch more grinding to do let's just put it that way again cut your fenders up on the inside I can fold this in that's getting cut off I'm gonna end this I'm not even gonna put a, a tack on it yet uh, because if you know how to weld, then you're good from here. Watching me weld it, if you don't know how to weld, I suppose I could show you my settings. I can do a part two. Let me do a part two. All right, so I'm going to end this. I don't know where Oswald went. He was out here. He gave up on me. What do you think? Is it too ridiculous? Is it too much? You can't tell now because it's not cut on the back. When we get to the back, the shackles are gonna be, the spring is gonna be the furthest thing back. I'll make a bumper come around and cut up those sides. That's yet to be seen. Let me show you what I had to cut out of the bottom real quick. Under here, I had to take a notch out here cause that was hitting the frame. Not here, not here, but right here. I measured where that swell is for the spare tire jack part and had to cut that out same place over here. So that's what I had to cut out of the bottom. Now I'll come to this ledge right here and cut all this off flat. So that means all this will get cut off and be gone. Sorry, jamming it in your face. Uh, so anyway, more cutting. Part two will be coming up. I got to come up with a cool name for this one. Project Rasty's out there. I uh, can't wait to show you some more how rusty and nasty that truck is. But look how short it's going to be. Stay tuned for part two. Okay. So, enough about that for now. Stay tuned for part two. Like if you liked my show, give me a thumbs up, like thing. Uh, subscribe, please, if you want to see more. I really appreciate it. I got a lot of videos. This is a fun project here. Uh, leave comments. What do you think about me taking 20 and a half inches out of a T100? It's going to be short, short, shorty, short, short when I'm done. I can't wait to show you the follow-up on it. That's coming right up. I'm going to have to do a whole lot more trimming, but you can kind of see. Eh, it's okay-ish uh, for right now. Eh? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, leave comments, uh, like, subscribe. All that shit's free, easy, painless. I'd super appreciate it. Tell me what you think about my T100. I freaking love it. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a super great day.